So we will begin with Mr. Kitts. You have two minutes. Thank you. I retired out of the Army specifically to run for the 9th Congressional District because I felt we did not have proper representation. Real representation for me is always placing the people of Southwest Virginia first, the coal miner, the substitute teacher, the forgotten veteran, and many more. Problems are always easy to point out and then talk about. Make people afraid. That's how elections are won. Real leaders have solutions, but that leadership requires presence. There is no such thing as an effective absentee leader. The solutions are infrastructure, education, jobs, and constituency services. I had five offices within the 9th District in Martinsville, Christiansburg, Withville, Abingdon, and Lebanon to give direct access and a federal voice that has been desperately needed. In 2011, a massive tornado hit Glade Springs. Morgan waited until his vacation ended to finally arrive. Then during his tour, he stopped and listened to a woman who told an absolutely terrifying story. During the tornado, her daughter and her dog were both sucked up through the rafters. And as he was trying, she was trying to tell him this, he broke off to take a phone call. He then returned to his vehicle with the mayor of Glade Springs at the time and stated as they surveyed the damage, I'm glad this didn't happen to us, leaving the mayor absolutely dumbfounded. This is not representation. Unlike my opponent, I will show up. A veteran fighting for the ninth, ready to serve again. I look forward to getting your vote in November, and thank you very much for doing this. Thank you, Mr. Kitts. All right, and now you, the final two minutes. You Mr. know, it's Kitts. interesting. The guidelines under the rules for this debate said that you weren't supposed to talk about things in your closing that you didn't talk about during the debate, so there'd be a free back and forth give and take. Several items were just brought up that I now have to respond to. One, late, late spring. I was in Florida visiting relatives. That is true. Uh, I was in contact with my office uh, hour upon hour upon hour. My wife and I had to fly back with our three kids. Now keep in mind, they were a lot younger then. I wasn't going to leave my wife. There was nothing I could do. I found out first, is there anything I can do on the ground? The response I got from the state of Virginia and from my local folks was there's nothing you can do at this point in time. I got back as quickly as I could. We did cut it short a little bit. I got back as quickly as I could. My opponent started off by saying uh, in his campaign that I didn't get there for like two weeks or something. And then he found out that wasn't true. And then further he goes along and, and will tell you other things that just aren't true. And I, I hate that that has happened, particularly in regard to items that we didn't have an opportunity to discuss in the debate itself and comes up in the last closing minutes of the debate when it's not supposed to. Let's talk about offices. We instituted offices uh, in the district, not just bricks and mortar offices, but we're in every single jurisdiction, all 22 counties, all seven cities, at least once a month. Some of those were in two, three times a month. We go there, we will see people. If somebody needs to see one of my staff, or myself at some point in time, we will make every effort possible to get there. I can tell you about one lady who was calling in a lot and she wanted to talk to me and we happened to be in the area. I drove 30 minutes out of my way to go see her in Patrick County to talk to her about her issues at her home because she couldn't get out. That's what you have to do. But it's a big district, 22 counties, seven independent cities, miles and miles of roads. And ladies and gentlemen, I really would like to have your vote this fall. I think you can see the differences between my opponent and I, one who supports Hillary Clinton, one who supports Donald Trump, because Donald Trump will make sure that we have jobs in Southwest Virginia.